What's going on everybody? I hope everybody had a great weekend. So today, we're gonna actually start uh, weekday workouts on Bongo. So I'm gonna talk about the slap. So to all the new subscribers, Welcome to A Percussion Life. My name is Eric Perez. Some of y'all already know that by now, but just uh, just had to say thank you for subscribing. And I do hope that you enjoy these videos. And if you haven't subscribed already, just hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button, find out whenever I'm uploading. And yes, we upload videos two times a week, normally Mondays and Thursdays, but this week, this week is about to be crazy, man. We're uploading videos every day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday just this week because we're gonna talk about some workouts. And to all my day ones, man, I seriously appreciate all of you guys, all the love, all the support, all the comments. Every time you guys share, man, seriously, it's always special to me when I see that, man. So I do appreciate the continued support. Before I get into today's workout, I just want to show you something that I just got from Minel. Place an order in for some claves because I needed some. I got some uh, redwood. I think these are hollow body claves. Haven't heard them yet, but it's kind of the, the vibe I like. You know, just like a hollow body can kind of project a little bit more and uh, add a little bit more flavor, kind of manipulate the sound. Oh yeah, loving that sound, man. These are these are pretty nice, um, nice little vibe here, man. So um, I don't know. Uh, I'm I'm excited because I know a lot of you guys been uh, you know asking me to turn up some clave. So I'm just gonna make my own clave tracks and uh, just do various ones and eventually add them on so we could always do a little playbacks going forward with uh, most of the rhythms that I teach, man. So I'm just trying to trying to let you guys know, you know, but. These things sound beautiful, man. Oh, man. You can really mute it if you want, just. You hear that? Completely different tone, man. So you can really manipulate what you're trying to get, man. That's why I like the hollow body. You can do a lot with it, man, so. <laughs> you gotta love it. So this week, we're gonna dedicate it just for uh, simple, quick little exercises that you could try in bongos. These are just workouts that you could do it's not really like major of course these can really benefit you i always say practice them for 10 minutes but you know if you have more time please invest more time in it work on it practice it seriously take your time man but these are just assigned as quick little exercises to kind of warm you up or just kind of like take you out of your comfort zone like you know take you out of your norm so i like to do a little craziness and things that just look weird seem weird but and, and they're meant to be weird but it's really kind of like to challenge yourself and easy ways to kind of either work on your weaknesses or just improve on your strength so today we're gonna work on slaps all right so slaps on the bongos it's kind of simple and there's many different ways a lot of bongo settles have their own kind of technique to be able to project the slap i personally have my own way obviously i normally don't play on stands but this is uh, just a lot easier for you guys to see uh, how I'm going to project on this but I want us to pay attention first just on the macho for a second and by the ways these heads look crazy my goodness a great way to kind of like improve your zone area of slaps is to kind of exaggerate it again these are workouts so it's meant to kind of like sound bad and look weird and you're trying to kind of figure out where you want to be I have pretty you know, fairly good sized hands. Uh, I could cover the whole head with my palm. So what I do is I just try to, I'm not moving my palm anywhere. I'm not moving my hand, literally it's laying on the rest. 
and the rim. So I'm trying to figure out a space where I could try to project the slap. It's very similar to how I practice it on the congas. But obviously, I'm going to put a little bit more emphasis on my fingers um, and a little bit more space in between the head and my palm. So... And it's crazy because you're not going to get nothing. You're not going to get like any projection out of that. But it's it's meant to really just work those muscles, man. And I'll literally just sit down doing that for hours, man. I really don't care. I'll, I could be watching TV and just... And eventually what I'll do is I'll put on a metronome, probably start at 50, then build myself up. And I will lay, kind of do this thing right here, <laughs> where I'll lay one on top of the other and start working out this way with the metronome. And you'll see me clash and that's kind of like the workout part. You're trying to avoid not clashing and build off that. But obviously the faster you go, the more likely you are to hit yourself with your hands. It's weird, it's fun, but these are little exercises that will kind of like push you to get a like a fatter slap and a, and a crisper slap. So when I finally start to exercise that and, and my wrists are getting looser, I'll actually try to play the slap naturally, where in this case, I'll move my hand a little bit more right here rather than the whole palm area. Where it's like... So I'll start moving it right here. I got a little bit more space, kind of do the same movement. But this time, I'm not going to be resting my wrist on the, the rim. So what I'm gonna do is actually just do it if I'm trying to do a slap. This is just a very simple technique on the slap. You can start moving it a little bit if you want. I wouldn't suggest cuffing it like that. Probably get injured right here, man, but. Um... Little exercises like that can go a long way once you start to develop them and practice them. So it's kind of funny because you're gonna look ridiculous, man. It, it, I get it, It's but that's the point of a workout. It's You're trying to kind of develop these muscles to sound a lot stronger than what you currently have them as. And sometimes what I'll do is leaving it like this and then kind of Like, rather than going one, two, one, two, one, two, I'm doing quick two hits, quick two, like, slaps in that format. And what that does is that it kind of helps me develop kind of a flam type movement. So... You gotta love it. Again, guys, try those little little tips and tricks just about 10 minutes a day if you can. If you have more time, please study it more, man. It's gonna help you so, so much develop slaps on bongos. These videos are gonna be very quick this week. You already know from the previous weekday workouts on Gong, guys. But yeah, tomorrow it's gonna be another exciting day. You already know what to do. Like, 
subscribe. I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a great day.